good afternoon friends last video we discussed about the need for business ethics so just i'm going to discuss that point to stop my business mal malpracticing what is meant by to stop business malpracticing that is some unscriptural business do business malpracticing indulging in unfair trade practices like black market marketing artificial high pricing means they will keep high price black marketing will be happen pricing adulteration cheating weight measurement because cheating they will do in weight measurements they will give low quality of product and also that is only malpractice okay so malpractice means what is in malpractice in business means just cheating in weights they keep very high price and give low quality so it is very harmful to the consumers so it should stop that is a stop business malpractice okay to improve consumer confidence how to improve uh, to improve consumer confidence business ethics are needed to improve so you can see here uh, you can see to improve consumer confidence business ethics are needed to improve consumer confidence the quality quantity price etc of the product consumer have trust the confidence in the businessman who are follow ethical rules they feel that such businessman will not cheat them how to Im so they are telling how to improve consumer confidence obviously if you give good quality product in proper price in a good way they will feel good with that and they will feel that businessman won't cheat them so this is the how to improve consumer confidence this is one more point so now we are going for the survival of business how the business will survive long lasting we have to check that because uh, some people are they will start business and they will fall within some month or some year one year two year it is not a lot of companies are there which is still continue running because that is a survival of business so what they are telling business ethics are mandatory for the survival of business the businessmen who do not follow it will have short term successful but they will fall in the long run this is because they can cheat the consumer only once after that consumer will not buy the goods that businessman he will also tell the others not to buy from the businessman so it will defame the his image and provoke the negativity publicity this will result in the failure of the business there therefore if the businessman do not follow the ethical rules okay what they are telling if someone want to cheat the customer they can cheat only once it won't be happen because once you cheated you won't go that businessman you will go to the other who is genuine so survival of business you should maintain your quality quantity and product things and you should be good with the people just this is the point only only they are telling in next point to safeguard the consumer right to safeguard the consumer right you just read these points i will just tell you the meaning in short way okay to safeguard the consumer right means to make the educated them to telling what is their rights what consumer has right if the product is not good what he can do he can return or not whatever the things we, they can take the steps about that will call us to safeguard the consumer right that is only they are given here so i am going next point to protect employees and shareholders business ethics are required to protect interest of employees and shareholders uh, competitors, declare dealers, suppliers, it protect them for the exploiting through the unfair trade practice. Okay, read this point. This point just read and try it as it is. Okay, to develop good relationship. Obviously, if you want consumers, you should develop your relationship good with the consumers. Smooth functioning. Who will follow the business ethics? Obviously, that system will go very smooth. If you speak smoothly, if you give correct things and uh, correct price, the functioning will be go very smooth. Not only in business, everywhere it will be like that only. Okay. Consumer movement. Consumer movement. Business ethics uh, importance because of growth of the consumer movement. Okay. If you want growth of the consumers, if you want more customers, obviously you should uh, you uh, you should 
uh, use in your business ethics compulsory otherwise it won't go if you go with the business ethics it will improve so business ethics are gaining importance because of the growth of the consumer movement gone are that days when the consumers taken the right unscriptural business by the false for propaganda and false claim unfair trade practices today consumers are the aware of their rights and they cannot get cheated easily they take actions against those businessmen who indulge in bad business practices they buy god for quality harmful price and counterfeit goods therefore the only way to survive the business is to honest and fair consumer a uh, consumer fora and consumer associates are more active in the local now okay consumer movement consumer movement means they are telling about the what and all a consumer can take the action and how it will run so uh, you who are business people they should uh, care about the consumers and use the ethics in their business uh, because today's consumers are very alert and active so if any unfair trade practicing or or some harmful try harmful things or high prices uh new businessman given to uh, consumer it will be very difficult to them so that is they are telling this is a consumer movement so business can be alert and take care of the consumers in a good way okay consumer satisfaction importance of labor health competition healthy competition not health competition consumer satisfaction obviously if you satisfy the consumer with their products obviously the consumer will be come to you and he will take the product from you only see this point you can write in the exam what they are telling today's consumer is the king of the market consumer satisfaction today's uh, the consumer is the king of the market so like this you just write down some points there it will be reflect to the elevator and they will maybe they will give some good marks okay consumer satisfaction means whatever the consumer need if you satisfy them obviously your growth will be more okay Im importance of labor for workers their importance they are given and healthy competition healthy competition means you should do healthy competition not weak competition i will just read this the business must to use business ethics while dealing with the competitors they must healthy competition with the competitors healthy competition brings about efficiency breaks complex compl uh, complacency and leads to optical utilization scarce resources since is always welcome they must not to cut through competition similarly they must is they must give equal opportunity to opportunity to small scale business they must avoid monopoly this is because monopoly is harmful to the consumers okay so healthy competition means you should do healthy competition there should not be monopoly you have to stand with your quality okay not with the simply something business some weak person is standing and some strong person is standing and they are doing competition it is not you should give your quality you should be apply your ethics and you should give the consumer satisfaction this is the healthy competition not you should make some rowdyism and make to the consumer to take the product it is not correct you should do the healthy competition not only business in professional so the same thing will come but sometimes will be dif different okay this is the uh, this these points are the needs of needs for business ethic these one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve points are important in need for business ethics. If they are asking question, try to write down based on their name only. You can understand what to write the one one sentence or two two sentence. Just read it properly and write down need for the business ethics. In this twelve points, you just write down two two or three three lines or points which the which is the point wise. So it will give the weightage of your answer. Okay. Now they are given advantages of the business ethics. you just read this advantages and disadvantages so uh, the next they are telling recognition of ethical issues of business ethical issues business relationship improving ethical behavior of business conclusion okay 
to be here it is done this is important point i have completed advantages disadvantages in conclusion you just read yourself in i am going to complete this video next video i will just know i will complete here only check your progress fill in the blanks the term matrix is derived from latin word ethos already we wrote uh, read there uh, so ethics of three types of business meta ethics normative ethics and applied ethics obviously it is there is given here answer the ethical operation of a company is directly related to the dash dash in the both short and long term so what they are given profitability okay so next question meta ethics deals with moral judgment and continuous improvement of dash dash or improvement or dash dash is the popular thing that is a kaizen kaizen means continuous improvement it is in operation management so this five points don't leave because this is from study mat it is important and whatever they are given question just read it properly so our ethics subject ethics from the law and ethics a subject we completed one small chapter which is the 15 marks related so thanks for watching the video thanks a lot in next video i will go to complete other videos so bye bye